three point something from eight. From eight, let me see here. Okay. I have it. So do you see it now? Almost four, almost half of it. So that's that. This one is okay. So now looking at this, I imagine the number of a column that we have saved our client from of spending money on. So do you see it now? Yeah. Can I see what we are having? This is what we are having now. So now I haven't explained this. We have finished with our column. <clears throat> the next thing is what we call paneling. Okay. Are you with me? Yeah. You remember in those days in school when our lecturers, when they give us a classwork or assignment to design a slab or in the exam hall, you might be using S1 and another person might be using a P1. Yes. You remember? Yeah. So that S1 stands for slab one. That P1 stands for panel one. So it's still the same yeah. thing. Isn't it? Now, yes. coming to this, applying it on our practical uh, aspect now of what we have been taught in the class. Now, there's a rule that, guide our, that guides us when it comes to our paneling. Okay. Are you hearing me? Based yes. on BS code, it's advisable and it's been advised that your area of your panel or of your slab should not be more than 30 square meter. Okay. Do you get that point now? Yes. I believe you are recording what we are doing. Oh, yes. Good. Now, it's advisable, according to that rule, that your area of your panel should not be more than 30 square meters. Now, the reason is because the moment your area of your panel or of your slab is more than 30 square meters. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Are you seeing my screen? Yeah. Good. Once the area of your panel is more than 30 square meters, it will require you, if you are using 450 uh, thickness of slab, it will require you to increase it from 150 to 175. That's number one. And okay. if it's far, far more, it will require you to take it to what we call either going to 200, which is the maximum. Okay. For solid slab. Good. Now, and the moment you are having too much span area, it can get to a point whereby it will call a it will cause punching. Are you hearing me? Okay. Good. Why? What's because the, because of the, the weight. Okay. A punching shear. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, let me use a layman to explain for better understanding. A punch is just like something that breaks. Oh, okay. That breaks at a particular point. Because okay. the load is too much, it cannot carry it, it's heavier. What happened? At that particular point that there's no a sufficient support, what happened? It breaks down. Okay. Just like when we in school, when we are designing what we call it, um uh shear diagram and moment diagram. Yeah. Do you remember? Yes. Good. So it can cause that. So and at times, if the span is more than 30 uh, square meter, if somebody is at the first floor, whatever the person is doing at the first floor, you that's on the ground floor, you'll be hearing it. You'll be hearing the sound. If any did drop, it will be as if the thing dropped by your side. You that is on the ground floor. And another that, thing is, if it's is, not properly reinforced. Sorry, that is if it is less than 30 square meters, right? No, that is if it's more than 30 square meters. More. And you are using, okay, okay. you want to use 150. Yes, yes. Okay. And okay. it's not properly reinforced. I don't know if you have climbed some story building, whereby at the, at the floor, it will be as if it's bouncing. Yes, yes. Good. That means two things involved. 
is that the thickness or the spacing of the reinforcement it's not okay are you hearing me maybe yeah. they are to use 200 uh, to 200 spacing and they end up using 300 spacing okay do you get that point now so now i will yeah. explain all of this that our area of panel should not be more than 30 square meter so let's begin to panel our our building sorry our structure so now let me take my dimension dimension pick your dimension um come to this point and this point we have what 3.23 and also you know when we are talking about area sorry give me one minute let me run this ac All right, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. When we say area, it's about what? Length and spread, isn't it? Yes. Good. So now, this is my breadth, and this becomes my length. Let me take from here. Okay. You can see it now, isn't it? Yes. We have 3.1. Take my calculator. Let me pick my calculator. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's pick my calculator. This is my calculator. You can see my calculator here, right? Yes. Now, 3.23. Sorry. 3.23. Three, multiply by what? 5.1 5 .1. equals to what? What are we having? 16 square meters. That's 16.473 square, square meters. Yeah. Is that okay? Which then means yeah. that the whole of this place, the whole of this place is not up to 30 square meters. Since it's not up to 30 square meter, automatically, you see this one, you see this wall, yeah. this wall here. You see this one here? They are all going. So to now make it a complete panel. So at this point now, I cannot remove this my window. You see? Okay. okay. I cannot remove this my window. Remove this window. Select this. Select this. Extend and enter. Come to this place. This place complete. Good and fine. Then also come to this one here. Remove this. Remove this one, then select this, uh, this, and uh, this. That's fine. Then pick my uh, column, then extend, enter, then come to this place, click, and then uh, click. That is that. And also come to this point here. Come to this point, remove this, and then this one, extend, enter. Okay, I have this, and I have this. Fine. So now, do you see it now? It's a complete panel. Do you see it now? This one is my yeah. S1 or P1. Okay. You can see how it's coming out good and clear. Okay. Good. So can I can I ask now, a question? Now we advise. So, in, in the case whereby it was more than thirty square meters, those walls you have to leave them, or what will happen to them? Good. I love that question. Now, in a situation whereby it's more than thirty square meter. And you, you want to follow the rules that our area should not be more than 30 square meters. What you now do is, don't forget we are having something like this before. Yeah, isn't it? Yes. We are having something like this here before. So, if you now notice that this place is more than 30 square meters, check the, this place, check the area of this particular place. You can see my cursor like this. Yeah. Check the area. If it's less than 30 square meter, then because of this space, it's more than 30 square meter. Automatically, what you are going to do only do is to remove this one and make this one another panel. This is another panel. This is now. Okay. Is that okay? okay. So it becomes panel and panel. Okay. But another thing, let me go further. Based on your question, let me go further. Let's assume that this wall, there is no wall, nothing is here. 
Mountain. Are you with me? Yeah. Mountain. But in the course of your paneling, you now discover that this place is more than 30 square meters. Yeah. On your own, you cannot introduce a beam to break to break it. Okay. Do you break it equally or you you, yes. In that case, yes, I'm gonna break it equally. Yes, okay. Now if I'm to break this equally, let's take the dimension. Let's assume it's from here, from this point, from this point. This is the point, right? Good. So now let me just uh, uh, what is the center of this? Let me see. X L. No. Um, X L. Enter. Um, what I want is a horizontal. Enter. Let's now check. Will this one give us? Will this one give us? Will this one give us? Okay, no. Now let's check. What is the half of a? Uh, uh, this is what five thousand. That's two thousand. But I gave you, I gave five fifty, right? I gave you the two thousand five fifty. Uh, then, will have to or I split my extend or offset two thousand five fifty, isn't it? Enter. Now let's check it from this point to this point. Okay, this is the center of it, isn't it? Are you with me? So now, yes. if you like, yes. you can put it at this center. The only reason why you can put it at the center is because no effect on this window. Because this is a beam running, and this is another beam that is going to come up. You get now. You can either put that center, or if there is a wall here, you can just use that wall. Just like I started the example. But if not, you can either put that center and break it evenly. Okay. But, but okay? it does not have to but interfere don't forget, with the, it's the window. You said? Yeah, it does not interfere with the window at all. That's not to do in the window. Because it's beam, it's not column. Okay. You know that your beam is above your window. Yes. Your window top. Uh -huh. yes. So that is that. Now, but don't forget when you are providing something like this. Are you hearing me? When you are providing your wall, um, offset, then enter um, to, to, uh, 230, that's 115. I'm right. Okay, let me have this one here and also have this one here. And I have a TR, enter, and I have this one, this one here, uh, this, this one here, this one here, this one here. I remove this. Okay. Now, this is my wall, isn't it? Yes. This is now. This is my beam now. This is my beam. Yes. But don't yes. forget that this beam here, this particular beam here, you only use it to break the panel. So by the time you are doing your model in total structure, this kind of beam will not carry any wall load. Okay. There is no wall that is going to sit on it. The only load that this beam is carrying is it is its own self weight at the same time load from this particular slab and this slab. Thank you. Thank you. Is that clear? Yes. Good. All right. Can I go ahead? Oh yes, can go ahead. All right. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, something is showing here that in four minutes this meeting will end so don't okay. know that maybe you can create a new link and send now it's showing three yes once we finish i'll create another link now it's showing three minutes not that okay, okay. that's okay all right i'll create another link and send okay yeah yes, sir. okay then thank you sir yeah mm. all right so now let me return this one. I haven't explained that. Let me return this one, extend this and this one. Good. So therefore, we are done with this panel now. So we'll go further. Now let's now check this place too. Let's check this place, isn't it? Yes. So my dimension, DIM, enter, come to this place. 
sorry, enter, come to this place, and uh, this place, okay, 2.75, and also from here, from here to this place, uh, three point. Automatically, if you use your mathematics, uh, mathematics knowledge, two point mm. five multiplied by two, three point uh, nine is not even close to thirty square meter, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, I don't yeah, need to yeah. press the calculator. I don't need to press the calculator. I'll just go ahead and do what and remove this space. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. So then yeah. This one. Sorry, sorry. I would make it properly. Uh, can you uh, can you please create new link because it's just two minutes yes. now. You can end and create a new one. Okay, let me create a new link. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Um, yeah. engineer, ever, yes, let me click create a new link. Is that okay? Okay. okay. All right. I will send the link to you now. Okay. 